Howdy to Farming Simulator 22 here on the Western Wilds. Your host with not the most, aka Tommy Miller, Mr. Blue. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, almost forgot what a fuel pump was at. Because I need fuel badly, as you can see. This thing needs a dig on wash job, too. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got the mod. Turn this thing off. That way y'all can hear me better. There we go. I got the mod where you gotta actually get out to fill them up. But anyway, how y'all doing folks? Y'all doing alright? Look how dirty this truck is. It is December the 2nd and uh, we're wasting money instead of getting money. Minus 400 there. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll take the truck drive over. Ain't no sense blocking it. Ain't no sense blocking the pump, right? I might need diesel before I get back. But anyway, John from the marketplace had his buddy drop me and him off. He drove the tractor to the farm shop. He got off early today. Wish I could get off. Farmers never get off. Oh boy, this is what I was thinking. We're going to have to. Uh, let's go in here real quick. Um, let's go up to. No, we need to go down to. As you can see, it's December the 2nd, folks. And as you can see, the temps here. I can't never get my mouse to work on the screen. But anyway, as you can see, um, we're good today. But January 1st, 2nd, February 1st and 2nd is snow. Snow. And it is snow here a little bit. Um, maybe I got a chance. You can, you can see it on the logs there. That white jump. Yeah. I'm going to just... Uh, be unrealistic right here for a little bit. Try to get some of these out of the way because we need to sell them. Um, I guess they call it thousand meters. I just kind of just uh, yeah, find a place to put them. Probably some more come back. But anyway, uh, uh, past there too. Some stuff's been going on. I think it's been. I don't think y'all was here December the 1st. I can't remember. I can't remember if I passed forward through that or not. But anyway, the bank's want some money. So we're going to go in here real quick and go down. Let's see. As you can see, I'm back up to 590000 That's because I had to, had to spend some money. Uh, the sheep's are doing pretty good, folks. Uh, that is straw. Oh, no. I need liters of wood to train yard before. Oh. 17,000 liters of wood. That is not bad, folks. 17,000 liters. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. Sugar cane and uh, honey. We need to be putting down some beehives. But anyway, um, we're uh, trying to figure out where it's at. Let's see. Must be right here. Lettuce, folks. At your train yard, it's 1,563. Tomatoes, uh, yeah, tomatoes is 796, and that's every thousand liters. Strawberries, 391. Everything is up. Everything is up. Let's see, what is, uh, I think those are planks we got, yeah. Whoa, every thousand liters, 1,804. So we definitely need to sell these guys for a thousand liters apiece. So that's the 1800 for a pallet there, folks. So let's get in. I'm going to make my way over to the the farm shop and uh, show you what's going on. The Amish people. I don't know if y'all saw the last episode or not, but we got a pole barn down and they got it finished, folks. So we're going to go check it out. And I'll be right back. Oh, I see. John just parked the tractor right there in the way. Okay, as you can see, here's our pole barn. I went with red, about the most color they had, so uh, yeah, we just went with it. Park his truck out of the way. The owner of this land over here kind of got mad because what happened there. I'm like, well, I'm totally sorry. I am totally sorry, but you know, things happen. 
I don't know. I doubt this thing's got a hitch on it, but I'm gonna try. That pallet there is stuck in the ground. I can't get it out. We gotta get a truck that's got a hitch on it. It just don't hook up to nothing. Anyway, we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna open up. Now, let's start right here. We, we got the water hose thing, you know, it was right along in here somewhere where this stuff's sitting. And I uh, had it there, well, shed, they tore the shed down, they moved the water hose over to here. They spread some gravel and stuff for me. And uh, we poured down some concrete. It's not really a good amount of concrete, it's just like gravel, uh, probably about four or five inches of concrete mixed with gravel and the top was just smoothed off. They should have brought it up a little bit, but they said it would be better if it was a little bit of offness so the water would drain. So I'm like, well, y'all know what y'all's doing, so ta-da! Here's our pole barn, folks. Um, we got a uh, regular 110 and we got a, a 240. And we got some more 110s down through there. We got a window here we can look out of when it's pouring down raining or snowing. Got a back door down there. And we got a side door here. This looks like the same shed as the squad built in real life. It really does. Uh, our breaker box and stuff's here. And our light switch is here. It's got some bright lights. I don't want to run that electric bill up on. I'm going to shut this door before it blows away in the wind. I uh, got started on moving our fertilizer and lime up in here. So, uh, you know, it's supposed to snow in the next couple of days, so I've been trying to get everything in. But right now, folks, I, I got to get busy. Got to get busy. I'm going to go ahead and hit R to load all, all this stuff up. There's the uh, lattice. Don't drop any more. Probably not. Go real slow through here. I love this auto load feature. I really, really do, folks. All right. Um, now, where was the lettuce and tomatoes going? I, I can't remember. Um, to the train yard. Plank's going to the train yard. And this is going to the train yard. So everything's going to the train yard. Um, I'm probably going to load up the planks. I'm going to unload this, then load the planks up, and then let's see, I'm about to take the R off. Uh, okay. Make sure that's off. Don't want to load something we don't want to load. Um, should I take it, sell it, then come back for the planks? I think I'm going to go load up the planks real quick and stuff. Man, I wish John would park that up here a little bit more off his land. But he is selling this land right here, folks. I mean, you know, that make a good grass field by all of it, man. You can't subsoil it or make a field out of it because of all the rocks. But, yeah, we can make a good, uh... At a, a grass field, but anyway, let me get to the uh, train yard. Oh, no, 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 I was going to. Oh, I'm gonna cut through here. Oh, there's a road right there, anyway. Hey, get back on the road, Mr. Blue. Well, folks, I do hope y'all are doing all right. Oh, there's a train in real life. I gotta go through here, I think. But, um, sorry, wasn't a video Wednesday. And I hope this comes out Friday. I've uh, been kind of busy. Um, plus, I ain't been feeling good either. Alright, well, let's see if we can do this. I'm glad nothing else popped up. We're going to make a... We're going to have to get a trailer that we can back easily. Uh, instead of this uh, flex tongue here. Let's see. I'm going to... Uh, unload right there and I'll probably just loaded that right in the way um, yeah I don't know if y'all want to see this or not there we go oh run over produce 
Oh, no, no, no. Can I load there? Oh, yes, I can. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm going to have to kind of encourage them a little bit here. Trying to be unrealistic now, I guess. Kind of kick them over. It's almost ready for another pallet, but we're going to go ahead. And it's got plenty of wood, too. 37,000 liters of wood. Now we can put all this produce on top. There we go. I'm glad it double loads. Hey, there's our def. All right, I'm on. Okay. We got... 5,000 strawberries, 23,000 wood planks, 2,000 tomatoes, and 1,000 lettuce. Man, is that all we got in lettuce? Okay, there's 24 liters of this left. One of our tractors going to need it. We're going to set it right here. And strap, oh, strap over it. And yeah, we'll bring it back eventually. All right, I'm gonna make my way to the train yard, folks. And that's, uh, in case y'all wondering, it's looking at the screen, it's gonna be on the left side there with a tractor's path, right in the middle on the left side. So we got a little ways to go, be right back. All right, folks, we're coming up on the train yard here. I don't know which is which or what, I'm pretty sure the produce goes right up in there. I don't know if I can get close enough. I doubt it. Yeah. We're going to have to use the forklift. Alright. Yeah, I better shut this off. Save on fuel. See this bad boy here to start. Uh. I don't know how to pronounce that. Do y'all? Yeah, the door's on this side. Duh. Uh oh. Super strength phone. Uh oh. Be right back. I gotta get in. Alright, I took a little. Oh, oh. I'm oh, sorry to say, I gotta go through it again. Oh, it's electric. That's why it's so quiet. Oh, it needs to be charged. Okay, we're gonna have to hurry. Oh, I didn't want that. I want that. We're gonna have to hurry up and get these. Oh. Uh, what would it be better? I don't know, folks. Yeah, I've done this in real life, but you know, it, it's a. Uh... Yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, point of uh, what is it called? Or that uh, your view, you know, to tell how far things are. Can I pick up two. Is that two or is that one? Uh, uh, that is one pallet, and they're on head sideways. Whoa, okay. Okay, know what I need to do, or to turn that off. Oh, I need to go in and unstrap it again. There we go, all unstrapped. Now I gotta get in here and get this line back up again. It's so quiet. I wish the one I drove, drove was that quiet. All right, we ain't gonna get a one price thing. We're gonna get individual prices. That's all right. It's I love the real life realism of it and stuff. It tells us how much we're gonna get for a pallet. Boy, it's slow taking away. All 
Alright, um. Oh. Y'all wanna speedy to this? Uh, uh, let's just give y'all a speedy, I guess. It's 15 minutes in. Be time for a speedy. Yeah, $400 almost for that pallet. I think that was uh, strawberries. So, uh, alright, I'm gonna put some music on and do a speedy, and I will see y'all here. Back, or hear y'all here in a minute. Alright folks, I just, I couldn't do it no more. Uh, that's a, yeah, it's one of those, one of those things where Mr. Blue don't have the patience today, maybe later. Let's see if we can get one big total out of this. Wish I could do two. I gotta move this thing out of the way some or something. Maybe I can just get it backed up a little bit further. Maybe that'll work. I'm just gonna leave it running and jump and climb up on the stuff. Okay, can't do that again. Oh, I just messed that up. Wait, where's... Oh. Duh. And right here, Mr. Blue. So close, but yet so far. They don't turn over. Yeah, trying to get one big total there that we can see a total price. And since I know the port diff is drained, I can bring it back down here. Okay, I'll re reload these so they, they stack better. Uh, anywhere. Oh, okay. Put one back here fell off. Uh, 1,566 for that. Not much, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? That's just a little bit of produce. Alright, hit R. Uh, and hit R again to turn it off. And where do we sell the planks at? Uh, let's see. Let's go in here. Of course, it's going to save. Um, planks right here. Train yard. Let's mark it. Alright, there's a train yard. Planks probably going to be on down, but I'm going to just uh, uh, try one, you know, just see what it does. Just in case we are at the right spot. Oh, there it goes. We're right here. Uh, 1,800, oh yeah. Alright, we're going to get R to load, then R to take it off, then we're going to hit, uh, tip side be U. We want it right there. Pull up a little bit, and then we're going to hit I. That kind of worked. It was twenty-one thousand. Let's hit R. We we put them under the train. All right, we're gonna hit R again, and we're gonna hit U. And high and low is E and Q. E and Q. Oop. Okay, that don't. U. Oh, I have. 
That's over on that side. Okay. I'm just going to hit I. And they will sail. They even unloaded my death jug. Can I get it back, please? Hope I ain't selling the death. Oh, come on. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, or load. Oh, we got a pallet that didn't sell. Uh, or again, and you. I. Okay, it's not selling there. Or, or, unstrap. I'm gonna pull up a little bit so I can make sure I can see everything. I don't even know how much we got, but we got quite a bit because we was down pretty low. I don't see nothing else under there. Oh. I think I lost my can of death. Do not play on this side of the track, kids. It will be bad for you. Let's see here. I can't get low enough to hit it. I have my super strength on. I probably didn't. No. There we go. Maybe it's out now. Not quite. Alright folks, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll fault with it a little bit and I can't do it, so I'm just gonna... Uh, is that charging? Yes, that's charging. Okay. All right. Let's get back in her charger. And uh, yeah, we need death. We have to come right back down there to where that pallet is. But anyway, we got 63,000 folks, and uh, I did talk with the bank and said there might be uh, if I can get like a month or two, and they they said, well. Since we know where you live at and what you're doing, I guess so. But anyway, yeah, look at the grass. It's all frosted and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, we're back here at the shop. Um, I really don't know where to park stuff. But I do know we need to park stuff. I think I'm just going to park this here. Let's, see. Let's run over here and make sure... Yeah, both doors are open. We need to put the combine in first. Uh, we need a fertilize too. And this thing's right up against this pole. Lift the header up. Turn that way a little bit. And should be about right. Um, Alright. Um, I think I can fit that way. I'm gonna back up, and go around that way. Um, tactical or attack it, gamer. Sorry, get butchered the name first time, but brother, he, he he's a brother from a different mother like all y'all are. Uh, he came up with a uh, two questions on it. I'm gonna park the camera over this way. Uh, first question is. Lower this head down so I can see a little bit better. About right there should work. Alright, power ladder. That's uh, Brian Farm says. That's scary. That door just shut by itself. Need that door open, please. Okay. But anyway, Tactic Gamer, uh, you are a legend of farming similar games, man. Can you farm in real life as well? Yes, brother. I sure can. Uh, there's some things I don't know how to do. Like the newer combines and stuff. I have no idea about driving them and stuff. 
They got GPS and everything else on them. All right, I wish. Uh, so, um, I'm trying to look to where it says it, but I don't see it. And there, unload here. Why? All right. A lot of folks don't know, but when you leave your bed up like this, one. The water and the snow is going to run out of it. It won't sit there and rush your, your trailer, your, you know, the dump bed out. But I don't think farm sim. Oh, see, I shut the power off and it comes down by itself. I wish you could leave it up, like in real life. Speaking of real life, you know, things. That's one thing a lot of people don't know. So I'm just going to park this guy out of the way here. We're going to need it probably. Don't know for sure we're right now I, it's gonna be at the other shop area um, this thing here uh, I'm gonna leave this trailer around by back behind the greenhouses to put the produce and stuff on uh, we may be selling as it comes in for right now and uh, later on I'll get a refrigerated truck or trailer to keep them in going to park it right over here out of the way. You can see ain't nothing come up yet. Alright, I'm going to detach that. Alright, and Tactic Gamer's second question was, buying more lands, or are the lands expensive in this game? Well, let's show you real quick. Uh, I got 63,000. I'm going to go here and click that. Uh, as you can see, bottom left for my balance, 63,664. And this field is 69706. This piece of land is 79,000 even. Get it in the blue, you can see it. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard. That's 78,000. That's 79,000. 79,000. And got one over here that's 20,000. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that right now. Yes. Reason for it, that is the BGA, and we want to own the BGA when we start getting grass bales. Uh, we'll get more uh, money and stuff for it, I guess. Right, let's see here. We got new land that I don't think I've done soil samples. Maybe this in here. Did I take soil samples? Nope, whoa, whoa, whoa. Soil sample tucking is this. It won't let me uh, hit A on that, okay. I'm assuming, oh. That is the same color right there. Oh wait, okay. So it should be soil sample tucking, I think. I hope I took samples. If not, I'm, I'm you know. Alright, let's see. We need these mowers in. I think this tractor can handle this setup. Might not can run it, but it can get it inside the building. Plus, I needed that when uh, putting... Look, like they spread the gravel out pretty, pretty good, though. Ah! See, we can't... Can't. But yeah, um, I started out uh, riding with my uncles and my dad and stuff, and... and we was just getting all kind of, doing all kind of stuff. We wasn't getting, I just messed that up. I was going to say that um, when my dad wasn't riding me around, oops, my uh, uncles were. Oh, I'm just going back here, straight back, get another tractor hooked to it, ease it down, yep. Attach. There we go. And that door shut by itself again. Oh, okay. Automatic, like the sheep barn over here. Well, that's good to know. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna do all this off screen. Uh, matter of fact, let's go in here and look real quick. Uh, I need uh, 
I'm gonna probably skip the rest of the day, skip January, and uh, come back in February maybe because that looks like that's when we can start planting. Uh, my eyes showed me right, it's cotton. But if we get anything else to sell, I will sell lamb. Um, yeah, we got 590,000 to get down. Our sheep's done pretty good. Just not producing wool right now. Because it's winter time. I'm going to try to get up 17,000 liters of wood. We probably could do that. I don't know if I can or not, but uh, yeah. Don't think we can get them. But, um, I've got stuff in that that I need to get out. Um, seeds and stuff needs to go in the other one. Let me bounce around down here. I want to show you all this. Um, I've been chopping away at ease. I need to uh, start saving them, putting them on a trailer. Uh, but you see this old barn here. They, they, they let me know they finally got it cleaned up. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's this uh, vacant lot. They tore all the boards down and stuff and burn them, haul the ashes off. And uh, yeah, and then there's a... Uh, uh, they done some work over where I don't know for what uh, yet, but this is a barn that had the tractor in it, and the tractor went bye bye, folks. But it will be returning. I'm gonna insert a picture right now of what it looked like. All right, y'all seen that? We gonna get that and uh, uh, what's it called? Re repair it and make it look good, because it was part of the farm here. And maybe we can use it on like maybe an auger wagon or, or or pull a small trailer or something or anything, you know. But uh, they really done some cleaning up around here. You know, we still got this to deal with. Might tear this down. I'm not for sure yet. Um, but this white fence might go. These trees and stuff going to go for sure. Um, they want 17,000 liters of wood. We might do that in the next episode if I can do it. I don't know. I will be busy. Ugh. Ugh. But uh, we might tear this stuff down, sell the metal, and get us new... I think these are pig pens. The way they look. Not for sure. It was like another pig pen that was here. And uh, it, it just needs to be teared down and cleaned up and stuff. Uh, we got this area over here. I don't know what this was. Can y'all, anybody know? Might be some more pigs, the way it looks. Somebody been walking around and see tracks down here. Hmm. Hope they don't get a nail in their foot. I'm gonna jump over. And see, we got to repair this outside gate, too. I don't want to do that. And get up over here. This stuff's kind of new here. I don't know if we'll keep this here or not, but we might put in, tear it down, put in some more sheds. I don't know. we got to get the electric company over here for that. Might be some kind of transformer for the shed or something. But yeah, we're going to be working on this since it's winter time, and uh, we got quite a bit of trees out here. I think we can get some 17,000 liters of wood. But this tractor here has got to go back to the farm shop because I'm going to spread some uh, fertilizer out. Now I'm going to do that off screen, y'all. Y'all know how fertilizer does, so. I'm going to park this right here because we're going to be needing it down here more than anything. But folks, um, it's 36, 37 minutes in. I'm going to get the stuff inside the shed. I'm going to leave this down here too. If it snows too bad, we'll come back and get it. But I definitely want this tractor spreading some fertilizer because it's got the skinny tires. And uh, yeah, all that stuff. So. But that's an update there. And oh, uh, also, I don't have them up with me right now. Let me get this guy 
zooming in there, I'm going to pull up my files. Ooh, that's bright. S22, Western Wilds. Um, what is this? Episode 16. Um, I'm going to put this in the end. Ooh, I just went through a pole. i got to watch what I'm doing. I'm on my tablet when I shouldn't be. Let me stop right here for a second. Uh, this here is January the 22nd, folks. I got one new subscriber, 480 views, 1,528 watch time. And on this one here, it's April the 22nd. Of course, you see zero subscribers, 371 views, and uh, 1,227 watch time. May the 22nd, two new subscribers, 476 total views, watch minutes, is 2,962 minutes watched and this one here should be July I don't see a date up here I think I chopped the date off but this should be July I got three new subscribers 646 total views uh, 2,432 minutes watched so you can check that out and trying to trying to trying to get my mouse to close it out there we go and of course you've seen the picture of the uh oh i forgot what it's called of the tractor and this is the loan interest and the vehicle leasing costs and property maintenance of december the first so i'm gonna throw that in there and of course you know i, I rented a rock picker and stuff on december first also and i was doing that at night and uh and that's how we got the rocks to to spread around and what Biddy Bob's thing there at the wood station. And this picture shows the truck getting loaded with with stones and stuff. And uh, next picture is uh, what it was and stuff like that. And and uh, trying to think, it just shows which one it was. The Scorpio XL by uh, Onyx iconic or ever how you pronounce it but I uh, leased it and stuff and uh, y'all can see a picture of that and that looks like everything I got to tell y'all I'm gonna get them out so I was supposed to do it like one or two episodes ago and I just forgot folks so I'm throwing them in now um, yeah and uh, I'm gonna thank all y'all you know Tech Gamer for your questions I appreciate that uh, got some new ones and uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right Phoenix TV support and uh, his other channel uh, thank you for watching uh, Ice Damon and, and Christy Nicola um, she put in her last comment there I watch it with pleasure thank you and you're welcome my friend you are totally welcome uh, but folks, I gotta get off here. Um, I'm rambling now, trying to think of things to whoa, turn the wrong way. You can see this tractor is neat. I need a wash. I got a pressure washer badly. All right, we are zero. Just of course, we'll go over here, and uh, we need to get an auger wagon or something to start filling these things up right. You know, anybody else would have a some kind of a lift or something like like this here you know you put it down low and then you get a port lift come in here and you grab this pallet and you back the port lift up and you come out here and you tip it over it and uh, fill it into the thing you know just like that we need to start doing stuff like that more more regularly also, I got to put some lime down too on the new field, so yeah. But anyway, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If I did not name you, it's simply because I don't have it pulled up right now. I love y'all. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. All y'all leaving good comments and stuff. And uh, yeah, so um, should be Friday when you're seeing this and uh, I hope to see y'all Monday in my next episode hopefully uh, yeah so y'all have a great day a blessed day and I will see y'all next episode folks
Y'all have a great one. Love y'all. Bye.